In London's oldest kosher bakery, attention is mostly on pastries over politics. But this is the heart of Stamford Hill's Jewish community, and a new row about anti-Semitism in the Labour Party is creating a stir. Its owner says that Keir Starmer has made progress repairing relations with the Jewish community. Definitely he's changed a lot um, since he's came in Keir Starmer, since he came in the place where he is now. Um, things have been much better than Corbyn. If we can trust him, I mean, he's going in the right direction. Do you think there's still work for him to do with his party? I think so. In every party there is. Two Labour candidates have now been suspended by the party following anti-Semitism allegations. One is awaiting an investigation. It took two days for Labour to drop Azhar Ali, the Rochdale candidate, after initially standing by him. When it emerged, he said Israel had allowed Hamas to conduct its attacks on October the 7th. To heal. This indecision has frustrated community leaders. If he cares about anti-Semitism, he should deal with it, with it fairly and squarely, not toss and turn, flip and flop. He needs to be a leader and do what he says and act in a consequential manner and not keep on changing his position. The wavering of the past few days has reopened wounds with the Jewish community that Keir Starmer has tried desperately to heal. But the Muslim community is also watching closely a strong Labour base who increasingly feel that their vote is being taken for granted. Mohamed Zina runs the North London Muslim Community Centre and is a Labour member. He believes the party's refusal to back calls for a ceasefire in Gaza has been deeply damaging. I would go up to 60 to 70 percent of people who voted Labour will not vote for Labour. I, um, being a Labour Party member, found it very difficult to vote for Labour. The Muslim community don't trust Labour, full stop. It doesn't really matter uh, who the candidate is or was. I think they're gearing up, um, the Muslim community is gearing up for, to support an alternative party. With Labour 20 points ahead in the polls, this isn't yet an electoral crisis. But this new reformed Labour Party is being tested. Gerpreet Nawan, Sky News, Stamford Hill.